other news, packed shores, little effort to social distance. Two factors that the governor says made her change course with two popular state beaches. So starting today, Governor Mundo slashing capacity at the parking lots of Musquamacate and Scarborough State Beaches. And that's where we find our Brandon Truitt. He is live there this morning. And I wonder uh, how packed it is uh, right now after that gorgeous sunrise a little while ago, Brandon. Hey guys, good morning. The sunrise is great, but right now it's all quiet. We certainly expect that to change. But listen, the governor said this is not something she wanted to do. She said the numbers don't lie. She felt she had to take action. I'm sorry that we have to do this, but it's necessary. We, we, it got out of control last weekend, and despite our best efforts, we weren't able to control it. So the state is hoping to get a grip on this starting today, going from 75 to 25 percent capacity for parking at Scarborough and Musquamacate State Beaches. The governor says that uh, beaches in general throughout the state have seen 50,000 more cars this June compared to last. The governor admitting the state has had a hard time enforcing distancing rules with these size crowds. The state is planning to step up their enforcement, but the governor promises it will be in a friendly way, her words. But we spoke with some businesses here at Scarborough who say visitors have already been parking wherever they feel. They're worried it could get even worse with these tighter restrictions. And this has some headed to the beach um, say that they understand these stricter guidelines. She's looking at the numbers and it says you got to limit it down to 25 percent then you just got to limit it down. So all of this is coming as we are coming through new data from the state that shows a rise in the increase uh, of percentages of cases of the coronavirus in seaside communities. I'm going to break all of that down for you when I join you again at 630. Live in Narragansett, Brandon Truett, Eyewitness News. You rip on overcrowding at state beaches. Today, Governor Raimondo will start limiting parking at Musquamacut and Scarborough state beaches. Yeah, so this is in response to overcrowding. She says she has seen there in recent weeks. Brandon Truett joining us live at Scarborough this morning with a look at some of the numbers behind the decision. Good morning, Brandon. Hey guys, good morning to you. Well, listen, Governor Raimondo says she's sorry she had to do this, but says things were just getting out of hand. So starting today, parking is going to be restricted here at Scarborough and at, and at Musquamacut, all in an effort to stop the spread. Starting this morning, parking going from 75 to 25 percent capacity at both of these state beaches. The governor says if you need convincing that the beaches have been packed, consider this. In June, Rhode Island state beaches saw 50,000 more cars than the same month last year. Year. It's led state agencies push to the max, trying to control the crowds. Ultimately, the governor has decided to dial it back. Here's a look at some of the numbers she said led to her decision. Eyewitness News has learned that since July 3rd, state uh, seaside communities have seen some of the largest increases in coronavirus cases. Charlestown and Middletown have seen a 25% increase. Narragansett has seen a 16% rise. Newport, 13%. And while the cases in these communities are still relatively low, they've grown compared to Providence, which has seen just a 4% increase. Now, the beach is scheduled to open here this morning at 9 a.m. Right now, it's all quiet, as you would expect at this time of the morning. But when we were here earlier this week, for a previous report, we saw lines and we are expecting that uh, to happen certainly today as limited parking at Scarborough and Miss starts today. Live in Narragansett, Brandon Truett, Eyewitness News.